to our busy phone lines. Are you happy that Bart Stupak is not seeking re-election? Do you think this is the beginning of the end for the Democratic majority? I want to hear from you. Let's go to Steve from conservativemonster.com. Steve, welcome back to the Cooner Show, my friend. Hi, Jeff. You know, a couple of weeks ago on your show, I mentioned to you that the Democrats would be afraid to, um, to cross George Soros. They would rather cross their constituents. And I have a feeling that Stupak will get a, a, a job as a reward for falling on the sword for uh, the emperor and dictator, and Soros will reward him with a job. Uh, I think also that uh, for some reason I get a feeling that they're going to manufacture another crisis to try and hold on to power right before the election, so we'll see if that happens. What do you, what do you think? Uh, Steve, those are two very good points. Thank you for that call, my friend. Uh, look, it's an open secret, Steve. You know the racket the way I do. Soros has now bought up so much influence in the media, in the blogosphere. He has now set up so many think tanks, not just in Washington, but all across the United States and the world. He is the sugar daddy of the Democratic Party. And what he does is he rewards the Democrats that he likes with plush positions after they retire. It's an open secret. So, yeah, so, uh, Stupak is going to sit on some nice boards. He's going to probably run some think tank, uh, which is going to have some Soros connection. There'll be Soros money involved, and he'll make whatever two, three, four, five, six hundred thousand dollars a year, maybe a couple million dollars a year for having betrayed the American people. You know that's just the way Washington works. Now, as for a crisis situation, yes, I think there's no question about it. They're already doing it now. This is the whole racket behind racism, 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 white supremacy, not, oh, secessionism, state nullification, the country's falling apart, terrorism. Remember, they played that up with the Christian militia. So what they're trying now to do is to create this sense that the Tea Party movement, that the opposition to Obama, is not just illegitimate, but it is radical, extremist, and potentially violent. That's what they're trying to do to drum up support among the Democrats and to and essentially indoctrinate middle America. They are trying to influence middle America by making them believe that, no, no, the real villains in all of this weren't us. It wasn't, no, it wasn't us that we abused the Constitution, that we were bribing members of Congress openly on the Senate and House floor. No, 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 that we passed a blatantly... Uh, illegitimate, unconstitutional bill that is going to wreck the greatest system of health care ever. No! That we thumbed our nose at the American people? No! We weren't the villains. No, 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 no. It's the Republicans. You see, they're aiding and abetting terrorism. Whether you know it or not, throwing a few bricks through windows of members of Congress's district offices. Hey, that's a massive terrorist conspiracy. That's what's going on here. Steve, we know their game. But I think this time they're in for a big shock because nobody is going to buy it. No one is buying it. And this is what everybody doesn't understand. This is what has stunned the Democrats. They don't know what hit them. Their head is spinning. The poll numbers against Obamacare remain unchanged. If anything, they're going up. Opposition is not evaporating. It's hardening. It's intensifying. I said it before, and I will say it again. Barack Obama is to the Democratic Party what Osama bin Laden is to Islam. He represents its most extreme radical form. And just as Osama bin Laden has been discrediting and damaging Islam by all of his jihadist acts and violence and hatred of the West, all of the ugliness and butchery that he's unleashed, the damage, the irreparable damage gets done to the Muslim faith and Muslim credibility around the world. This is what Obama is doing to the Democratic Party. My friends, he is not just destroying our health care system. He is not just destroying America. He is destroying the Democratic Party as well. This is Jeff Cooner on 570 WTNT. We'll be right back after this break. <laughs>